To date, 20 million doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine have been given in the UK. It's already estimated to have saved more than 6,000 lives. But today, advice on its use was changed due to a rare but potentially fatal blood clotting syndrome, which has now been linked to around four out of every million people who've received the jab. Based on the current evidence, the benefits of the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca against COVID-19 and its associated risks, hospitalisation and death, continues to outweigh the risks for the vast majority of people. But because the risk of COVID in the under 30s is lower, it's been decided that tips the balance of risks and benefits and shifts the national vaccine rollout. And this is a course correction. But this is a kind of massive beast that we are um, driving along at enormous pace with enormous success, this vaccine programme. And, you know, if you sail a massive liner across the Atlantic, then it's not really reasonable that you um, aren't going to have to make at least one course correction during that voyage. The decision is based on an ongoing review by the medicines regulator. Out of 20.2 million doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine given up to the end of March, there were 79 reports of the rare blood clotting syndrome, 19 of which were fatal. The data shows that for older people at current COVID rates, the benefits of having the vaccine in avoiding having to go to intensive care shown on the left far outweigh the expected number of serious side effects on the right. But among younger age groups, the potential benefits are more finely balanced. In fact, based on current infection levels, roughly equal for 20 to 29 year olds. Today's decision is based on safety, but could it undermine vaccine confidence? What would you advise somebody who is, say, 31 years of age, a family member, a loved one, who's been encouraged to take the AstraZeneca vaccine? We know somebody uh, whose daughter is around 30, 31, and that is a very relevant and important question. Uh, I think they have to make their own decision as to what they want to do about vaccination. We would still say that um, the balance is in favour of being vaccinated, because of the risks from COVID-19 and the protection that the vaccine offers. By the time the vaccine programme reaches the under 30s, it's likely several alternative jabs will be available, including the Moderna vaccine being introduced in Wales today. Other age groups are encouraged to come forward for their jabs when offered. The risk of COVID and its many complications are significantly higher than that of any vaccine. Tom Clark, News at 10.